You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you've got something that. you want to say about what I do on television, then say it. But don't call me a fucking Hey, man, hey, listen. What? I don't want any problems. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. What's the problem? It's a little different on TV. Don't fucking insult me like that. I didn't insult you. Fuck, you call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? Hey, you want to get caught on shit before? That's fucking cowboy itis. You want to be a big bad guy, Christopher? I was worried that I didn't Shut do it. Shut up! Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Or maybe I'd throw you down the stairs. Who knows? By now you've seen resident tough guy of CNN, Chris Cuomo, yelling and threatening to throw a man down a set of stairs. Because why? Because he, he trolled him. He called him Fredo. In case you haven't seen it, let's show it to you anyways. It's from our good friend, Brandon. That's the point with Brandon. Hopefully everybody's, you know... Uh, putting his YouTube channel up there so you know where to find the exclusive version. He's the first one who got it. Here it is. I thought that's who you were. No, punk-ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh. Fredo is from The Godfather. He was that weak brother. I know it was you, Fredo. Is that your and they use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Oh, Are you Italian? I got, I got a it's a bit. fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. Wow. So, is that a cool fucking thing? You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you've got something you want to say about what I do on television, then say it. But I'm going to fall me. Hey, man, hey, listen. What? I don't want any problems. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. What's the problem? It's a little different on TV. Don't fucking insult me like that. I didn't insult you. Fuck, you call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? You want that to be your nickname? I didn't call you that. You called me Fredo. You know my name's not fucking Fredo. I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. I want to be a man, stand Let's up like a man. I'm standing up, man. You want to be a man up yeah, here. I'm then up. fucking own it. Then own what listen, you said. Hey, then own what you said. Listen, listen, take man, them, I yeah, what? have a problem with you, man. Yeah, you're going to have a fucking problem. What? What are you going to do about I'll, it? I'll fucking ruin Let's your shit. Then. I'll fucking something. throw you down these stairs please like a fucking punk. Please do. Why? So you, you can don't fucking sue? You don't so you can fucking sue? Well, why don't you do it? Go take a swing. You want to call me Fredo? Take a fucking swing. Take a fucking swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. No, no, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So you want to call me shit? Call me shit. Hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm not, not doing here. anything. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Listen, stop. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't know. You didn't know what you were doing. I thought it was your name. I thought it was your name. You didn't know, right? Hey, you didn't know what you were saying, right? I thought it was his name. I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. Now, besides all the ridiculousness in the aftermath, Cuomo seems to have handled it handled it pretty well. Here's his tweet. I appreciate the support, but the truth is I should be better than the guys who are baiting me. This, hap this sort of stuff happens all the time, often in front of my family. I should be better than what I oppose. So those seem like pretty good words, and it's all well and good, except I don't, I don't see him addressing the Fredo part, being the N-word, the fake Italian tough guy accent, the threatening a person. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't personally have a problem with anything he said, except for saying that it's the same as calling a black person the n-word. So he's pretending to have an accent here, or he's pretending that he doesn't have an accent on CNN? I don't know, Chris, which one is it? Are you the tough guy on CNN? Are you the tough guy in real life? I'm not exactly sure. When did he develop this accent? Is it only when he's trying to be, you know, the Italian guy bringing his shoulders up? Even Trevor Noah, is not who is a person I don't particularly find funny or clever, even he's making fun of this, and uh, it was a somewhat funny segment I came across. Here it is. Because he feels like when this guy called him Fredo, it, it's a negative Italian stereotype, right? Uh, what's funny to me, though, was that his reaction that he chose uh, also seemed like a negative Italian stereotype. <laughs> he's like, what you say? I'll wreck your shit and throw you down these <laughs> stairs, big man. Is calling an Italian Fredo the same as calling a black person the N-word? Where would you know everyone? I still can't believe he's comparing himself to black people in this situation. It's hilarious because when you factor in that his older brother is the governor of New York, it, it makes obvious sense. He's CNN tough guy. His older brother's New York uh, governor. And he's just the dumb younger brother like Fredo in the movie. So it, it, 
it doesn't make any sense. Where is he coming up with this persona? I mean, I've been trying to coin the fact that he's the resident tough guy on CNN for like two years. Because just by watching him, you can tell he's full of himself. He's always talking about fitness and what he would do and how Don Lemon talk about, talks about how tough he is. So it's not a big surprise that he puts on this fake accent. So we're pretending that he's honest most of the time now. But how do we know he's dishonest in this situation? Other than just watching him in general, we can now confirm that he's been dishonest here. Probably, like, it's hard to blame him because it was in the heat of the moment. He wanted to seem like, a, this is what cool guys do. They got to seem really cool in the moment. And But somehow, since he's a CNN anchor, he had to come also off as the victim here. Yo, you're calling me an eth ethnic slur. I'm in the right here. You're in the wrong. You're racist. Let me throw you down the stairs. So the vice president of communications for CNN... Matt Dornick had this to say, Chris defended himself when he was verbally attacked with the use of an ethnic slur in an orchestrated setup. We completely support him. So Cuomo himself didn't follow up with the ethnic slur part, probably rightfully so, probably a good move. But the vice president of communications thought it was a good idea, and it's not, unfortunately for him. As Sean Davis from The Federalist says, Devin Nunes has been referred to as Fredo on CNN, and Trump Jr. has been referred to as Fredo twice. Now, CNN, are these racial slurs? Have you just been letting racial slurs fly on your network this whole time? And just and Chris Cuomo just never thought to tell you? No Italian people ever thought to tell you, or call in, or write in, typewriter? Never wanted to be like, hey, you're saying ethnic slurs. It's because it's not. Is it just because they were Italian that they're allowed to say this? Or would it still be terrible if you were calling a non-black person the N-word? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't make any sense and it's not true. Also, no Italian people are corroborating this in the media. And not even Cuomo himself. That's how we know he's full of it. Here he is on a radio show referring, him to, referring to himself as Fredo people of politicos who always hint that they might run but don't necessarily plunge all the way and they are members of la coma nostra so who am i in fredo yes exactly so you better be careful that they that your brother andrew doesn't kiss you on both cheeks and then all of a sudden they take you so if we were going to play devil's advocate here we would say okay that's because he said it he's italian he's allowed but one, would you really want to perpetuate a racial slur like that? Probably not. So, if a non-Italian said it, especially on CNN, this would be a problem, wouldn't it? <laughs> Steve is right. He didn't even make the cut like that his brother-in-law and sister did to be part of the uh, Oval Office and the White House staff. Uh, Daddy kept Fredo back home. So, so if you're wondering... Anna Navarro is Nicaraguan, not Italian. She also pretends to be Republican, so maybe she pretends to be Italian too. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so CNN's just been letting these racial slurs fly, I guess. It's a little mix-up on the wires of the communications team of the PR department there if you're saying this is a racial slur. But we've said it on our network several times, and we've also called other people this ethnic slur as well. Now I'm starting to think this mass hysteria from the media where everything's the end of the world and everything's a racial slur like Fredo is really call causing people to crack under the pressure even well not even even but especially CNN anchors the low ratings and the hysteria has really gotten to people. I think people are starting to crack even though everything's forgotten after two days anyways. You look at something in the news, and maybe it's something not favor favorable to whatever side of the spectrum you're on, or whoever you support. Don't worry. Two days later, no one's gonna no one's gonna remember if it's that bad. That's what you can look forward to out there. It's survival of the fittest, really. And if you want to survive out there, don't forget to go to the in info or store. Grab yourself some super male vitality. I'm starting to lose the Alex Jones accent, I think. And by that, of course, I meant don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're fighting the uphill battle here. Donate to me on Patreon so we can try to defeat, navigate the minefield of the Google algorithm as we come out with more stuff as to how they're trying to silence people. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, what type of content you want to see, and I'll try to get to it. Hit the bell, whichever direction that's in. I can never remember. And remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Christopher, why would you do this to your family? Why would you use this fake accent and say Fredo is a racial slur? 
You disrespected your grandmother. Your mother raised you this way. 